Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas Neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the book Focused Neurology and Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com so today we are going to talk about concepts of motor system so concepts of motor system part one that is approach to motor system motor and sensory systems although separated for practical clinical purposes are not independent entities but are closely integrated the following parts of the nervous system are engaged primarily in the control of movement. The lower motor neurons and the upper motor neurons. The direct pathways corticospinal tract, pyramidal tract and the indirect pathways comprising reticulospinal tract, vestibulospinal tract and rubrospinal tracts. There are two subcortical systems comprising basal ganglia and cerebellum. Now let's talk about the lower motor neurons. The large motor neurons in the anterior horns of the spinal cord and the motor nuclei of the brainstem, the accents of which comprise the anterior spinal roots, the spinal nerves and the cranial nerves innervate the skeletal muscles. These nerve cells and their axons constitute the lower motor neurons complete lesions of which result in loss of all movement voluntary automatic postural and reflexes the lower motor neurons are the final common pathway by which all neural impulses are transmitted to muscle now let's talk about upper motor neurons Upper motor neurons constitute the direct pathways that is the corticospinal tract or pyramidal tract and the indirect pathways that, the, that is the reticulospinal, vestibulospinal and rubrospinal pathways. The pyramidal tract, the direct pathways, they constitute the motor neurons in the frontal cortex adjacent to the rolandic fissure that is the motor strip and descend from the cerebral cortex traverses the subcortical white matter which is known as corona radiata then goes to internal capsule cerebral peduncle that is of midbrain basis pontus of pons and pyramids of the upper medulla some connecting to the motor nuclei of the cranial nerves known as the corticobulbar tract whereas others come down decussate in the lower medulla and continue its caudal course in the lateral column of the spinal cord and connects to the anterior horn cells known as corticospinal tract. So upper motor neurons constitutes two components corticobulbar tract and corticospinal tract. Likewise lower motor neuron also consists of two components the cranial nerves and the peripheral nerves. Now we will talk about the indirect pathways of upper motor neurons. Several brainstem nuclei project to the spinal cord the pontine and medullary reticular nuclei the vestibular nuclei and red nuclei. Their nuclei and their descending fibers subserves the neural mechanisms of posture and movement, particularly when movement is highly automatic and repetitive as in walking. The two subcortical systems which modulate the activity of all these movements are one basal ganglia, second is the cerebellum. Each of these systems play an important role in the control of muscle tone posture and coordination yeah i have written a book exam oriented clinical neurology wherein i have put all the important five chapters which constitute the clinical neurology exam namely history taking general examination pertaining to neurologic examination the neurologic examination hemiplegia and paraplegia it will be useful for both undergraduate and postgraduate students so if they are interested they can buy this book exam oriented clinical neurology published by white army the other book i have written is focused neurology wherein i put all the important concepts of neurology in a question answer format this book is available online from all leading booksellers including amazon so if interested this book could be purchased online 
I hope you have enjoyed listening to these wonderful concepts of motor system and its approach. If you have liked it, please like it, share it, but do subscribe my YouTube channel, Dr. Sinovas Medical Concepts, and my webpage, Dr. Sinovas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.